Hello and welcome. My name is Arindam and in this video I'll be showing you how to do the beta Fenry Sulphur boss on Fyodor solo on official server difficulty settings. I will be using 17 shadow mains as my primary army, 2 tech rexes acting as bait which are mate boosted and my Uterianus which will be acting as a command mount. Let me show you the stats of my dinos. So my shadow mains all have 25k health and 691 melee. My tech rexes have around 120 saddle, 27k health and 877 melee. While I have put every single point into health for my Uterianus. To actually start the boss fight you need the beta trophies of the Broodmother, Dragon and Megapithecus. And you can check out my videos for each and every one of them. You would also need to wear really good amount of fur armor like the ascendant ones I have because the Fenrir Sulphur Arena has is very cold around minus 30 degrees Celsius and you need to have at least 700 hypothermal insulation to work. You would also require a couple of med brews because there is an attack that the boss actually does which will dismount you from your team if you are riding a large team like a UT and it will do 250 instantaneous damage. So I would also recommend to pump a lot of points into health. I have around 500 because I have collected all 100 runes and I am at max level of 190. Right. So the first thing to do is I am going to immediately command them to attack it. There is water there which should aid my shadow mains also provided they actually move. If the boss fight happens in water, I am going to get some additional benefit. The boss's Fenrir minions actually spawn from these two sides of the mountains. So if I place my Utiranas on this side, I should be more or less safe. The Fenrir boss has several attacks of which the only attack that I have to be worried about is its spectral astral projection in which it sends a ghost wolf straight forward. That attack will do 250 instantaneous damage to me and if I am riding a large mount it will dismount me. If I am riding a small mount like maybe a shadow main then it will instant kill me. Like that one that you saw over there. Compared to the Gamma boss fight, the Beta one is significantly harder and it has over twice the amount of health. So the Beta Fenry Sulphur has over 750,000 health, which means it is only slightly less powerful than an Alpha Broodmother or an Alpha Dragon. And because of all of its freeze attacks and its spike attacks, it can do a lot of damage in a, in a very short span of time. If you are doing this on an official server, you must ensure that your dinos have a lot of health. Melee is essential, I understand, but your dinos need to have a lot of health. Your Rexes should have over 25k health and the best saddle as you possibly can. If you don't have a saddle above 100, I would suggest that you pump Rex's health to around 35 to 40k health. Otherwise, they will not survive. And this is just about beta. I don't even know how difficult Alpha is going to be, which has around 1.2 million hit points. Just 300,000 less than an Alpha King Titan. Wait, Gamma King Titan. Alpha has 2.5 million, if I am not wrong.
one more interesting thing about the Fenrir Sulphur is, unlike the Broodmother, Megapithecus and Dragon, if you take 19 Shadow Mains, the Shadow Mains cannot actually box this boss. So the boss can actually move just above my Shadow Mains and escape. The same thing is there also for the Lost Islands Dinopithecus skin. That is why you cannot actually use 19 Shadow Mains and Iutiranus to do this boss fight. Your boss will simply walk over your existing Shadow Main army and target your Utiranus and that won't be a good thing to follow. You see that attack over there? If that wolf, that spirit wolf were to hit me, I'm going to lose 250 hit points directly. And that is on my UT. And one of my Rexes are done. So even with that much amount of health and uh, almost capped saddle, it still died. It's... You can understand how powerful this Fenrir Sulphur actually is. You can take a couple of uh, Deinonychus or Deinonychus. I would suggest at least three for the pack and mate boost. And the Deinonychus can shorten this fight considerably. By inflicting all its bleed stacks. Unfortunately, I can give you around 80 to 90 percent guarantee that your Deinonychus will die in the boss fight. Because Deinonychus does not have the health to survive this level of onslaught. If you are not doing this solo, one of you can actually use a Daedon to heal your dinos but I am not sure how effective Daedon is going to be because this guy is doing a lot of damage and very fast. Well, one casualty. As you can see, it has a lot of health. A lot of health. And that is just me taking screenshots because I'm fond of taking screenshots. After the battle ends, I will show you the stats of my dino. Or, wait. I need to pick up that saddle. Where was that saddle? The one that from my rex which died. Hmm. I'm just going to have to make another one. That's okay. It only costs a couple thousand metal. So, as a reward, you get around 250 element, the trophies, the flag, you can collect a Dermis and you get a 190 Fenrir. I'm going to come to this Fenrir part later on. First, let me show you my, the health of my Rex. So, with a nearly capped saddle, 100% imprinting and rather good melee, uh, my Re Rex nearly died. My shadow mains, I believe, would also be in a rather bad spot. You can see the blood all over. So my shadow mains lost 
फिफ्टीन के टेन के फिफ्टीन के सो इवेन विथ मैक्सिमम एटी आर्मर माई शेडोमेंस लॉस्ट फिफ्टीन के हेल्थ मैक्सिमम एंड माई रेक्स नियरली डाइड वेल वन ऑफ दम डाइड एंड दिस वॉज जस्ट फॉर बीटा सो I don't think you can uh, use this kind of an army to do alpha because your ar army will simply die. There is no chance of you beating alpha with this army. Now, regarding the Fenrir, no matter how many times you do the boss fight, you are always going to get a Fenrir of level one ninety with the exact same amount of stats, with same fifty two fifty health and three hundred one percent melee. Let me show you this guy. It's just a dire, normal dire wolf, just a bit enlarged. Its natural armor is ten, which can be increased to eighty, like a shadow man. Sorry, like a shadow man by using the C button, and it has the same attack and same animation as a dire wolf. And that's it. That is it for this video. If you liked it and enjoyed it please drop a like and subscribe and i will be seeing you in the next video where i hopefully will be doing the alpha fend sulfur and unlocking me all need so stay tuned hit the like button and thank you for watching